we're in Junction City, Oregon for Function for Junction. Car show and cruise. That's right, baby. Over 1,000 classic cars here at the car show to the cruise. Once again, Lola, it's a car show on a weekend. Yes. There's so many cars. We only have a few hours to go, but we're just going to keep pushing. We're going to keep finding you guys great car. Right. Uh, come check it out with us. Ryan. And where are you from, Ryan? I'm from right here in Junction City. Right here in Junction City? Yep. Wow. It doesn't get better than that. It doesn't. And what have All we right. got here? So today we have a 1948 Chevy sedan delivery. Mm -hmm. So it's been updated a little bit. It's uh, the succulent mobile for my <laughs> wife's business. And yeah. uh, she refers to it as the sexy beast. Uh, well, I, I love the detail work on this. Did it? Did you get it in this condition? Uh, so no, actually I did uh, all the body and paint. Oh, wow. I did the pinstriping and I did the lettering wow. as well. So actually I'm no expert, but usually uh, it's the other way. It's usually I did all the drivetrain, had someone else do the body and paint. I do the drivetrain as well. Wow, this is a <laughs> renaissance man right here. I, love I try. It. So how long did it take you guys? Uh, so I think it was about a year in the making. Okay. In order to get it done, I, I build a lot of cars. Okay, so you know what you're doing. Sometimes. <laughs> when I don't, I pretend. So so what's it got under the hood? So it's a 350 with a, uh, it's a Chevy 350 V8. Okay. Um, she has disc brakes up front. Hey, and it's a Chevy and a Chevy this time. It is. <laughs> yes. So it's not actually oh, that pretty, but. So we got the 350 in there. It and fits then, in nice though. Yeah, she sits okay. Um, carbureted uh, power disc brakes mm -hmm. up front. It actually has a limited slip rear end underneath of it with race axles because I figure my wife has to get places fast. <laughs> you did a little rust to it. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. So well, I, I want a drivability. I love the overall look for sure. Uh, it, it, it works and this is definitely a unique color of blue. Thank you. It is uh, Hot Rod Flats. Uh, it's a metallic blue flat. Wow, I like it. So, and that was, she was very specific about what color she was. You actually have yes. his and hers. His going and on hers, here. yes. And so, what is yours? So, over here we have a 1936 Ford, mm -hmm. um, and she's pretty much bone stock for the most part. Yeah, that's uh, what this one definitely looks like bone yeah. stock. I, like I upgraded. Uh, we've upgraded the brakes, so it has hydraulic brakes mm -hmm. and it has a 12 volt system. But aside from that, it's pretty much as it came from the factory. Right. So it's a lot of fun. I love it, man. Well, thank, thank you so you. much for your Certainly. time today. It was a pleasure chatting with you. It's a Nova, baby. Nova power. What have they put in this? Yes. Oh, yeah. 65. Oh, I have another motor. Straight up drag racing power right here, baby. This is not a common car for Oregon. The Montclairs are something I don't see very often. I see a lot of Chevy power up in this area. I see a lot of Fords and Mercury's like this when I go to Texas. Can't wait to go back to the World Star Roundup. Okay, 
doggy. Car show doggy. <laughs> <laughs> For a second, and what is she doing? There's stuff to buy. She's shopping. Yeah, I mean. She found swag. I love it when they park them far enough away that I can get a wide shot. <laughs> They did that just for you, babe. That's right. Did you find a car you like, Lola? Uh, look at this beautiful stunner. This is amazing. Love the car, love the interior. It's an 88, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is definitely a showstopper right yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Although, I know that Lola also has a weak spot for the Impalas. <laughs> Dude, and look at the interior. Oh, now, is that, did that come from the factory with the Oh my gosh. Yep. Not this one, but the heel. This is amazing. That same motor. That's, that's the original motor. Ooh. Ooh. We got a beefed out Chevelle over here. I would say this was a you know a sneaker, but those back fenders and wheels kind of give it away. <laughs> yeah. He's no, owned it's that, not a sneaker. He's owned that 51 years. Well, he actually he redid the flares himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. And what's it running under the hood? That's the better question. 400 small blocks. 400 small blocks. So yeah. you just crushed that in there. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's had all kinds of motors. It's had so, so he's done a little street racing, I feel. Yeah. Well, he's, no. he's not a racer, but no. he just likes no. the car. Being oh, okay. There. All right. He likes to feel like he could street race. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> this, this was the family car. Yep. For about three years, and then he bought this me a station wagon. You got the groceries real fast. Yeah. <laughs> She loves it. I'm not gonna lie, I have a thing for the early Ford vans. My granddad had a 72, and I've always loved them. I feel like we need this. We need to find a place to purchase one. Oh yeah, we'll just jump right on that. Babe. This, right, this, this is what you mean. Yeah. It's a, it dispenses, it's a, it's a, I think it's for cups. No, no, no. This Keeps beverages can. cold for 12 to 18 hours. Yeah, dispenses them one at a time. Yeah. You, you, could bring it. It, you could smuggle it into a concert and oh. just tell them it's a map. And it's they would map. say, what is a map? And I'd be like, it's this paper thing. You unroll and they'd be like, I thought you found that online. I, I thought Google say, had maps. I'd say it was a yoga mat. It's just a yoga oh, mat. Oh, it's a yoga and mat. You okay. it over your shoulder All like right. a yoga mat.
Machine Machine. Let's take a show of this. That is clean. Look at the fucking coating and everything. <laughs> I've shot this Buick 8 before, but it is always stunning here in Junction City. That's pretty clean in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 you know that I almost always focus on pre 65s. Yes. But this thing is so clean. Yeah. I gotta show this off. Look, this is crazy. Memories of high school right here. This blazer is in incredible restoration. Wow. Wow. Chevy power, baby. I got the summer catalog at home. I've seen the house. I don't I'm good, thanks. And what is your name? Lisa Ann. And where are you from, Lisa? I'm from this area. Right here from um, this area? Yep, we live, we have a real estate business here in Junction City. <laughs> Wonderful. And what have we got here today? This is Gladys. She's a 1964 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Coupe de Ville, baby. I love the color on it. Did you get it this way? We did. We actually shipped it here from North Dakota. Oh, goodness. And it's all original. That means no rust, probably. I don't think they used no. salt up there. No, it was, it's just in perfect condition. Yeah, I love it. Well, so you haven't done anything to it? Is it nope. all original? We found it on eBay, and my husband flew out to look at it, and he called me and said, she's just as beautiful as I thought she was. <laughs> and so I said, all right, send it home. So he's a smart man. He went all the way to South Dakota to check this bad boy out. Yeah, so he said he came home with it a couple weeks later, and it's just mint. It's all, all original. So did you go get groceries with it? Oh, no, not so much. Not but so we like to drive around town in the, in, you know, Eugene, okay. and what we do is I always say if we don't get at least five hey nice cars, we can't go home. Okay. So <laughs> I, like, I like the attitude. I like the attitude. All right. Well, you got to keep driving them. Gotta All keep right. Them on the road. Absolutely. Right. She's fun to drive. I interviewed this gentleman at the Emerald City Shakedown last year. This is a super rare car. And, uh, just a great car. And I can pull out the choke and I can adjust the choke and they're idle at the same time. Because it climbs, it doesn't have steps. <laughs> That's two times the dog goes at the car show. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> well, I think I found a car that would match our new vintage trailer. It would match that it. That match our 62 oh, Oasis. Yeah. Cream and same, turquoise. Same color. I've you guys the cutest dog. <laughs> That's cool. Nova. that's it. It is Bossa Nova. And this one has met words to my ear. Built, not bought. This guy knows the, the, the little details, the tiny details. The gigantic tires on the back. Yeah, that's the one. The gigantic tires on the back. The small tires on the front. The four. It's a green charger, and guess what? 
There's another green charger right there. <laughs> they're stacking them up. You're in charger heaven, babe. We are. You know, they're twins. They're twins. <laughs> in the house. Look at Breakfast of Champions right That's here. Right. This is how car show guys do it right here, guys. Yeah. You go to the car shows and like last weekend we were out, breakfast hot dogs not that far off. Yeah. They're I always ready to go at the car show. <laughs> Representing. <laughs> you have to come matching a car. Matching a car. That's it. You need a photo shoot right in front of this ride. Disappear no, I disappear. Yeah. You have to do contrast and complimentary yeah. colors. That's being sarcastic. See, that, this is this is a re real camouflage, though. But this is so <laughs> right pretty. I love the style. Um, Albany Antique Mall. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, Wade, that interior is sick. Thanks. When did you get that done? Um, no, over the last couple months. The last couple months, I say, I haven't seen that. That's a decent class here. Yeah, it's, 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 it's new. Oh, look, it's, car show look at them, they're so darn cute. They gave me little doggy oh. kisses. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I do like rock and red. That is classic rockabilly colors, folks. Dodge Charger. Let's find some of the nicest rides had out in the back of the bus at these car shows. Ooh. Somebody was struggling to get that Nova started. Where are you from? Springfield, Oregon. Springfield, Oregon, not too far away. And you know, you've got this local. sweet setup right here. What have we got? 1946 Suburban, originally purchased here in Oregon by the Portland Electric Company. Oh, wow. It was uh, bought to haul guys up and down the hills of Portland, servicing all the trolley stops. Uh, a crummy, as we call them out here. Yeah, a crummy, place. yeah. <laughs> I love that. So was it in this condition when you got it? It was partly finished uh, by the former general manager who started with Portland Electric Company when he was 15. Oh, wow. He purchased it just before he retired at 65 from the company. Okay. And uh, started the restoration and ultimately passed after a bout of cancer. Oh, wow. I'm and sorry. I purchased it from uh, his son. And uh, they had gone through 
his brothers and nobody really wanted to finish dad's project it meant too much for him and, mm -hmm. and uh, so I came along and traded a couple trucks for it and then finished it and, and is this original motor Originally they came with the 216, but this is a 235, okay. which was the replacement for the 216. The okay. 216's had a Babbitt problem. It looked fairly stock. So it's, it's, it's yeah. a common replacement back then, okay. an upgrade. Um, that it came out of a, a 55, so it has no oil filter boss on the block. No oil filter boss. So, yeah. Now who needs oil filters? Right, so I, I plumbed the block and put a remote oil filter yeah. in it. And what, what kind of trailer are you running here? Is this handmade or is this made? No, that was uh, made in Lodi, California. It's a Helite trailer. Okay. Um, this model, the one wheel, it only has one single wheel under the rear, mm -hmm. uh, was made for two years, 55 and 56. Okay, so it is they went to the, Yeah. So it looks that way, that's yeah. great. And it draws a lot of attention. So were they made for food service or what were they for, actually camping? It was a camp trailer. It, it used to have a canvas cover and some zippers on the side so you'd have a little vegetable to step into when it was raining um, but I didn't really need that for sunny days and car yeah. shows so yeah well I love it you're bringing it all back to life man yeah thank it's you so fun. much it's I fun. appreciate it you bet thanks for coming in yeah they're not too bad yeah You know, I'm not always into the rat rod thing, but this is it is nice. I like this patina. I like the stance. I like this truck. Come on. Look at that shifter. That's great. Oh, that's a hammer shifter. That is great. I'm liking this. That's right, baby. Classic cars and a cruise. Let's check it out. so hard to get up on these trucks like for this one I had to wait over two or three minutes just to get near it very popular ride and then of course this one always fun yeah or it gets like this
Mercury Monterey, baby. Wow. Is this 64? What is this? 63. 63. That is clean. I love that. Some fun detail work here. Four year project. Four year Roger. project. I was just going to. What's your name? My name is Jeff Frank. And where are you from? Eugene, Oregon. Eugene. So Roger did all the work right so there. So this guy here hiding out, he's the one who did all the work. Four year project. Yeah. That is nice. You guys brought that back. Looks like the original motor. Yep. yep. Original Traddy too. Oh really? His numbers, everything. Even the drivetrain, all the way to the back. All the way to the back. Wow. Just all new bearings and all that. That is, that is a sweet ride, and I don't see too many of these around. Yeah, that's why he wanted her done. That's this kind of why we spent four years working on it. Is this original interior? It is the original interior. Wow, that's a survivor and a half. That is a car. <laughs> the only thing we had to replace in the interior was carpet and headliner. Mm -hmm. And then do a little bit of work on the dash. Pad. I love it. So what is it running under the hood? What did it come stock with? Uh, 330 horse, 390. 390? Whew. A, a, that's a sleeper, is what they call them nowadays. <laughs> no, as heavy as that car is, that takes that much to get it moving. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a three-ton car. It's a lot of iron to move around. It is a lot of iron. If you hit something, there, you don't have to worry about you. That's them. Yeah, that is cool. I love it. Thanks, man. I appreciate you bringing this. So I'm glad you finally got her going. Mm -hmm. They just put new fuel lines in it. And got them in there today. You already have the whole badge. Wow. So it just got out today. Yep. We're the first people to see it, Lola. Uh, we are lucky. Of course. This is gorgeous. I'm gonna stop for a gasser. You know that. Lady luck, baby. Ooh, this is this is great. This is old school rockabilly action. A comet gasser. I'm loving that. There's one of the rarer cars here today. Not the rarest, but one of them. AMX. You don't see too many of these out anymore. Rat fink seats and everything. Gets me every time. It's amazing. I just don't see too many of these. It's like, like a stretched out pickup. It's great. Eeyore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He says, maybe if we keep the hood closed. <laughs> In where? Rustarama? Yeah. Oh, this is. This ride's amazing. I've interviewed this gentleman before. This is a clean Biscayne, baby. Back of that, oh. Yeah. Oldsmobile rocket, baby. It's purple. Purple with red.
numbers here as before COVID. I think so, yeah. It's like 2019 numbers. Nova.